I'm going to be doing another unboxing. I'm going to be unboxing, well, this, uh, unboxing, well, well, we'll find out what's in the packaging together, I love you. It's funny, I might not even need a knife, it's just all cream. Of course, I already know what's in the packaging, I'm just tired of looking at it. I know, I've been sitting here for four days, I'm such a, I'm such a geek. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see what's in here. It's a wired PlayStation 4 controller. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, I mostly get it. I mostly get it. I mostly get it for this. Or this little turbo feature. But here, I'm going to show you what's inside the box instead of this. Go on and on and on about it. Probably not going to demonstrate how it works on my PlayStation 4 anyway. This is just, this is just an unboxing. I'm probably not going to be showing you how it works. I think I paid around close to around 30 bucks, 37 bucks for this controller. So more like 28 bucks. It comes with the controller itself. It comes with a user friendly guide. It comes with a user guide, user manual, which most people probably don't read. See, it says a big user guide. It comes with instructions on how to use it, complete in Japanese. It comes you can probably call these up Japanese. I'm not sure if it's Japanese or Chinese on the back. And instructions in four different languages. Hispanic. It comes in Spanish, written in Hispanic. And obviously the English instructions. Uh, I'm just reading the instructions. It says it's backwards compatible with PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. I really don't care. I really don't care if it's backwards compatible with PlayStation 3 or the one for PlayStation 4 compatibility. And here's your controller itself. All shiny. All shiny. They put these little knob things on. So I guess they put these little knives on. So it's going to take those off. And that one off. And I guess this is your little D-pad. But then it's off. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Well, I can't really read the controller. It's kind of... So they have a traditional D-pad. It has a circle pad that kind of acts like your D-pad. You got your left hand while sick. Your... Touchpad, your PS4 touchpad, your share button, your options, your options, and, and your options. Let me just get closer. You got your little turbo button right here, a home button. Uh, that's not standard for a PlayStation 4 controller. <laughs> that's not standard. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be in place for the PS, the P, the PlayStation button icon. That this that must be in place for the PlayStation 4 PS button that takes you back to the menu on the PlayStation 4. If I'm not mistaken. That's your X, that's your X square triangle, and your O, your, let's see here. R3, your L3, your L3, you push down, that's L3, your L3, your, your L1, your L1, your L2, your L3, and your L2. I guess the only thing left to do is to take these small little knickknacks out of the control like this. I'm gonna go back behind here. As you see this thing, so we can actually use it on the console. We're gonna take out this little plastic tip where you can put in the controller you use on the game. Use on the game of choice. Then we're gonna take this little plastic bread wrapping wire. You see this little wiring right here? I don't know if you already see it, but we can take this wiring off here. Unhook it carefully. Unroll this controller. You got like, yeah, it looks like you got, looks like you got, looks like a two foot wire PlayStation 4 controller. It should work great. Work better. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to show: PlayStation 4 wire controller. It comes with a little serial number, model number. It has an on and off switch for the mic on the back. I never really noticed that. A direct headset piece, like any other place. That's standard for any other place. It might be, you can switch it off and on, so you use on it off and on. It's no, it doesn't have a built-in mic. You can just switch the microphone off and on the controller. And it'd be interesting to see how to map which button you want for turbo button. Which button you want. You know what turbo does. You hold down the button and it repeats that. It'd be interesting to see how to map X and square for turbo and all that stuff. How to map. Where you can map 
R2 down for turbo. It'd be interesting to see how that works. Options will start and start the game. And I guess it has a glowing, a glowing, tells you, I guess it has a glowing bar that tells you how much controller. I, I think the glowing light tells you what slot the controller is reassigned at, which one is assigned at. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go into, so I'm probably gonna go hook this up to my PlayStation 4, synchronize this with my PlayStation 4, use it on the game real fast, and probably, and probably just mess around with this controller. Yeah, this is not a review. I'm not gonna show you how this works. This is not like a review. So thank you very much for watching, and I'm out until next time. Later. Yeah, I'm gonna go play some PlayStation 4.